I'm always looking for uh, creative ways to practice. I'm using the old Slazenger racket. Actually kind of nice, uh, a beautiful, beautiful leather grip. It's just a pretty beautiful racket. It's called the Slazenger Professional Racket. It's an old racket. It's just amazing. It's uh, This one happened to be made in England. And so uh, it's kind of nice to made in England, made in the United States. Uh, it's not, everything's not made in China, except for your new rackets, uh, like, you know, so. But it's kind of neat that uh, you can find something made in the United States, um, especially with things going on today in China. Um, but, uh, so it's an old tennis racket I picked up at the thrift store. Beautiful racket, uh, very, very vintage. Uh, I took, I stopped at the thrift store the other day and uh, happened to pick up, uh, you know, just a, a little painter's brush, I guess a cleanup brush. And I took a, just a little towel and uh, put it around here so it fit perfectly. This is a, a, a baseball stand. Uh, that uh, someone discarded, the Franklin baseball stand, and uh, part of one. And I just set, set that uh, painter's uh, that um, painter's brush inside here. So I'll push it. I just push it down, and uh, there give a little force. Boy, that's a little tight there. Okay. And now what I'm going to do? I'm probably get that down a little bit more. There we go. So it won't move. Uh, have a little struggle on this one. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to practice. I'm sitting down because I was told when I took kids to. Uh, and I tell someone, I said, tennis is a lifting game. It's also a sideways game. And uh, and so uh, I like to practice sometimes just sitting down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to practice. And I'm sitting on my couch right now in the living room. Uh, plenty of room, so I'm not going to destroy anything. Uh, kind of, a, there, there's you know, there's not a whole lot in our living room right here. A couple of couches, and, and uh, my wife keeps it real neat and clean. And I try to keep it that way. So before she gets home, everything's put away. Okay, I like to make sure she feels comfortable. So now what I'm doing is here, I'm in the living room on a couch, I'm gonna practice, and all I'm doing, I turn the brush, I can do it both ways. I can turn it this way like this, where I can just brush up like this, and I, and I practice brushing up. And you might have seen me use a broom, broom handle before, uh, but here I'm just using this brush that's here, and then I'm just practicing, and I'm brushing, okay? A lot of times it's just a, just to practice a, a tennis motion. Sometimes I use a wheel, but uh, this just has a good feeling. And it's also kind of nice to do some different things, especially in the wintertime. Uh, like I said in a, a video I just recently just uploaded, um, you don't have, I don't have the opportunity to move down to Florida. Maybe I'll go play some tennis in Florida. I don't know. Maybe I'll get an invitation some, from somebody sometime to come down and hit with them or practice with them. Like when I was young, I used to have that ability or opportunity but uh here i'm just practicing brushing okay and uh and so it's just a great way of practicing practice i can practice right-handed or i can practice left-handed and if you heard me any videos that i've talked uh, made just short ones i've always encouraged both both practicing forehand uh, and left-handed uh, both right-handed and left-handed in order to be uh, ambidextrous or in order to really strengthen their body because I feel if you use one side of the body too much you're going to end up getting uh, be more prone to have injuries and so this way you strengthen both part of your bodies uh, I do that oftentimes at work if I'm lifting I lift right-handed but I also know it's a lot of times that I'm lifting with my left side of my body also so using utilizing both sides of, of my body so I'll practice left-handed and then I'll also practice right-handed I like to practice like a, a holding the racket all the way down. It's long. I like to practice short. But when I'm practicing short, remember that uh, you're going to get a lot more power and, uh, out hitting away from your body than you know so close to your body. You're not going to get as much power, so you want to make sure you're getting in from in, from in your body to outside your body. But and, and you're going to get a lot more power. But I like to practice like with my hand just to get the feel, and then I'll use a short racket. Then I use a, a medium racket sometimes, or I call a long racket. I glove down as far as I can. I do both right-handed and left-handed. Then sometimes what I do is instead of just I use I choke up my racket. I use a you know I hit a forehand. And then I use two hands like this, and then I use a left-handed backhand. And so I do that on the other side too. I'll go I'll choke up. I will hit a forehand, left-handed forehand. I use two hands. And then I use right-handed backhand, so I have a little pattern that, that I work. And I used to, I just get the idea because my brother used to use a, a punching bag, a speed bag, 
and have all kinds of things, ways that he would punch the speed bag. It would drive us nuts, okay? This is not loud, so I imagine if you were to hit a ball at the house and hit it boom, 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 it would drive your mom, your dad, uh, your family crazy, you know? And I say, can't you stop? And you have to say, yeah, I guess I have to, but I like practicing and then listening to something, and it's just a fun way to practice. So I hope this is helpful and, and uh, helping you practice. So let's see, I use, a sh I use my hand like this, and I just practice brushing. I'm sitting down because tennis is a lifting game. I also can practice why I just come up, and I practice lifting, okay? I can practice, uh, you know, uh, with uh, a closed stance or an open stance, depending on what I want to do. Uh, Wagner, Oscar Wagner encouraged a lot more people to use the open stand than a closed stand. Uh, closing your racket. I can practice a lot of different things. So here, one thing I need to reiterate, I'm going to practice with my hand. I'm going to practice short racket. I'm going to practice medium racket. I'm going to practice lack of long racket. I'm going to practice both right-handed, and I'm also going to practice left-handed. I will. What I'll do is I will practice in such a way that I practice. I choke up, and I practice forehand like this. I do it, you know, long. I do it short. I do it short. I do two hands, and then I will do a one hand backhand left handed. I do the same thing left handed. I do left choke up, left hand forehand, two hands, and then I'll do a left hand forehand. Left hand forehand, okay, two hands, and then a one handed backhand. I think that was, I said that correct that time. And so just a way that I practice. And then if you want to, you can practice also. Uh, just turn it like this sideways. Uh, if, I, if I do it this way, I get more of the brush. If I do it this way here, I can also practice a slice motion. And that, what a great way of practicing. And so I'm practicing learning how to, you know, you, you use your hand and then use your racket. You can shorten your racket and do the length of your racket. You can, and what a great way of practicing. And like I said, I like to listen to music. I like to listen to a book. On tape or lecture or something that's good that's going to help me think as, as I practice and so this is just uh, some ways I like to practice in the off season I'll get a chance in vacations to maybe hit with people or give uh, practice lessons at certain clubs with people and I do that quite often uh, during the winter months but uh, it's just a, a fun way of practicing I use different rackets like the slide I have here here I have a old uh, pro staff Chrissy Everett Pro Staff. It's kind of interesting. I have an old T2000. And if you haven't seen these, I'm at, I did hundreds, hundreds of rackets. Hundreds of different rackets. I have a Prince, Prince Woody. In fact, I was kind of disappointed one day, one time, a uh, number of years ago, my son took the Prince Woody, or one of, maybe I did, and left it at the tennis court. And then I happened to pick up another one. And so it's just a beautiful racket. This one is really nice. It, it has a broken string. A couple is broken, but has net, the, the natural gut, and it's a beautiful racket, and uh, it's almost like mint condition. And I can also practice. I like practicing uh, brushing up with a, you know, a big head. I also what we had they used to make individual covers for each racket, and what's nice is you can practice with uh, your racket cover on adds weight on, and that way when you go ahead and use this, all of a sudden, oh, it feels so light. And, and so it's just a, a great way of practicing. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if I can help out, uh, let me know. And i uh, love to help you with your chance. And uh, hope this is creative to help you practice at home during the cold winter months.